Hi guys, are you into sublimation? Printing images on mugs, latte mugs and other coffee mugs, tea mugs, anything you drink out of in fact. So let's look at how to create a 17 ounce tapered mug template with embedded artwork object for sublimation. Really quite straightforward. So let's begin a new document. In Designer, simply start with a new document. I'll use a standard A5 print sheet, but you can use any one because you're going to change it. Now, set it to transparent. You can see the tick about halfway down there. And set the following measurements exactly. The width is 3035.8 pixels and the height is 1368.8 pixels. Yeah, 3035. So you can see the measurements there. Set that exactly. That's all you need for that. Now the new document. To best see this effect, make the document transparent as I mentioned. And you can see this here. Now save your document. You don't want to lose it. You want to come back to this. You could call it something useful like 12, 12 ounce latte template. Easy as. Next, place a white rectangle over the canvas. You can move that later, but at the moment it makes it easy to see what's happening there. Make sure it's exactly the same size as the canvas and perfectly white, 255, 255 and 255, for example in the RGB sliders. Now we need to place some guides exactly in the right place on the canvas. Now let's look at those in detail. You can see them listed there in the guides manager and these have to be exact. Bring up the guide manager and enter these guides exactly. You can see them there, 328, 684.5, 1152 and 1369.1. The vertical guides are 477, 1517.9 and 2557 pixels. Now when you type these in, Affinity may actually round them up or round them down, but if you've typed that in, what you'll get is exactly the right size guide even though the display rounds them out. It's quite annoying when it does that, but we can't help that at the moment. Now your canvas will look like this, and currently you have one layer, that's the white rectangle. Now this is the tricky bit, and it's also the important part. We need to draw in the outline of the curved latte mug, and for this we use the pen tool. So select the pen tool on the left hand um, toolbar and set the stroke to 4 pixels and the colour black. Now place the first point on the left and connect all the points in one continuous line from start to finish. Place the point, hold shift and click. Some lines may go right off the canvas. For some obscure reason it follows the guidelines and not exactly where you're going. And I haven't worked out whether this is because snapping is on or off. But it doesn't really matter. Just don't panic if you don't see the guidelines in the places where they should be. Because you can use the node tool to drag them into place. So just scroll your canvas across to find the endpoint nodes. And with the node tool just drag them to where they've got to be. And you can see there where they've got to be. Horizontal vertical, well, oblique line down to the first vertical, across the bottom, up an oblique line to the top horizontal, and there you go. Now press Command D to deselect when finished, or Control D. You must have one continuous line right around. You can't do separate lines. It won't work if you do separate lines. You've got to go line, 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 all the way around, and then deselect it. If you do separate lines, it, the mask simply won't work. Now, using the node tool, select the exact center of the top line and draw it up to the top. Do the same with the bottom line. Your end result will look like this. Now you can see your shape beginning to take shape. Note your layers display now. We're ready to add our images. And remember that those node lines that you drew around there with the pen tool, that's one continuous curve. If you see one, two, three, four there, you've got it wrong. 
don't take your finger off the shift key. Go line, 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 line all the way around. We're ready to add our images. Now you can add a single image by just dragging an image in or you can add an embedded image. And perhaps I'll do both. We'll see so you can see what happens. Select the image that you want to put on the latte mug and place it as the top layer. Then drag it until the blue bar across the layers panel is halfway down, the curves layer, and let go the mouse. The curves will mask the image. Now you can see it there. When you drag that blue line down, it will offset to the left a little bit when you drag the image down into the curve. Off, when, when it offsets to the right a little bit, let the mouse go and that's where it'll stay. If it just goes to the next layer down, you haven't let it go in time. Take it back to the top now, drag it halfway down. And you'll see the blue bar offset to the right a little bit, then let it go. That's where you want it, exactly. Now select the curve layer, that's the top layer, and on the stroke option set the colour to no colour and the outline disappears. You could also go across the style and select the red bar through the circle which is no style and the coloured line, the outline that you drew will disappear because you actually don't want that on the mug. And you'll notice back there that I had uh, the white layer turned off as well, so it was a transparent thing. Now what can we do with this? Obviously if you have horizontal lines or lines of text you'll need to curve them to match the curve that you just set and that can be done best in Affinity Photo or in other software you may, may find like Pixelr. So you need to put that image into its own file and embed it in the outline. And that's simply a case of dragging the file in rather than the image. Like that. So that it will not look that will not look good when wrapped around a tapered mug, because you can see the river's a horizontal line across the mug, but the mug is curved. A straight sided mug, yes, fine. A tapered mug, no. So you have to modify the image. You can also see that it's an embedded file, not an image. So to edit it, double click on the little thumbnail of the image. You can either do that with some degree of success in Affinity Photo or switch your image into another suitable program that can easily shape your images. Save it and put it into the embedding file and reload it back into this design. It's relatively easy. Something like this. And you can see there I've said exactly the same thing on the left hand side, but the image is now curved. When that's wrapped around a mug, it will look slightly better. Now it's a little bit on the rough side, but never mind. And this is an example of a file you can use to embed images in another document. So modify your file and embed it. All done. You can see this is not the same file. This is The name of this is 12 ounce embedded image. And you can see that there's daisies in the field. There's a couple of images there that are unselected that I was experimenting with. Now I've embedded that whole file in our latte mug. And modified in Affinity Photo. Now it's a bit rough, but you get the idea. There's your finished image. You export that and away you go. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the thumbs up to like. Remember the important part of this video are the measurements. Plenty of images you can find at Envato Elements in the Envato market there. Very nice.